Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to a new video. So in today's video I'm going to attempt the realism challenge originally created by Mark Crilly, if I'm not mistaken. So I have found an object which is a leaf with beautiful autumn colors. I found it on the street outside and I thought why not try to recreate this leaf as realistic as possible. I love to do realism, it's what I do as a job um, to create realistic portraits. So yeah, I've been wanting to try this for a while and hopefully you'll like how it turns out. So I'm using my Faber-Castell colored pencils, the Polychromos line. And I have sketched out the outlines first with a mechanical pencil. And the outlines were pretty difficult. This leaf doesn't have the easiest shape, so that took a while to get right. Um, but in the end I managed to create quite similar outlines, I think. The shape is not completely the same. The most important thing here, I guess, is to get all the colors right and to get the, the contrast right. So after sketching the outlines, I started with coloring and I started at the top and then I'm working my way to the bottom of the leaf and I'm trying to work in a lot of layers. So I'm using paper that has quite a bit of tooth to it. I'm using Canson 1557 paper and this paper can take quite a lot of layers. So I'm layering my colors in first and then I use the burnishing technique. So I take a white pencil. Um, in this case, I use the white Caran d'Ache colored pencil. And then I push down all the previous colors into the paper. So I'm really blending uh, the colors out. And I do that with the white colored pencil. So I just work my way towards the bottom. Colored pencil is quite a time consuming medium to use. So it looks like it's going really fast, but in real life it took about three hours, three and a half hours to, to recreate this leaf. So the most challenging part about this drawing, I think is to get the shine and all the veins this leaf has in the right place. So I'm just layering my colors and then burnish the colors into the paper and then going over that layer again, um, which this paper can take to, uh, to saturate the colors a bit more because of after burnishing, the colors get, get a bit dull and a bit flat. So after that, you'll have to get back in again to, um, to brighten up those colors again and to make them more vibrant. So I'm really looking back and forth to my leaf and to my drawing and see if it looks the same and what I can change to make it look more realistic. So this project started out as, as a fun project to do, but I think it would also be quite nice um, tutorial material. So I might upload a slow down version of this video on Patreon as well. So here you can see that I'm burnishing the color into the paper with my white Caran d'Ache colored pencil. You can also use another colored pencil, just the Polychromos one, if you have that one. But I feel like this Caran d'Ache pencil is a little bit softer, which works a little bit better for burnishing, I think. I have used quite a lot of colors for this drawing as well. I am mainly using Walnut Brown, um, Van Dyke Brown, Terracotta, and then Burnt Sienna as well, and a lot of black and some greens, so I'm really trying to get as many colors in there as I can. 
because with color pencils it's quite impossible to get the right color right away so there's not one color that will fit um, an, a subject exactly so you'll have to layer the colors burnish and then layer again to get the right colors so now to make the leaf look 3d I am putting some shadow behind it and I'm doing that with a blending stump that had some graphite on it so I'm just trying to recreate the shadows that I see um, on my real leaf and this really makes the leaf pop out from the paper so it's a very important step and then I did some final details um, let me know if you think I succeeded the challenge I think it looks pretty nice my drawing though is a little bit less vibrant than the real leaf it's also because um, the colored pencil reflects the light a little bit so that's why it appears to be a bit less vibrant but yeah that's something I could work on I guess to get the colors more more vibrant so that's something I'll keep in mind for, for next time so yeah, let me know what you think of this drawing, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want me to do more realism on my channel, um, please let me know below, because it's what I do for a job. So I'd love to involve more realistic art in my channel as well. So yeah, let me know what you think of it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media pages the links are in the description and then i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye